questions. Thank you. Uh, excited, obviously, going into year seven. Um, around the corner, we got a lot of new guys, so it's a good opportunity to kind of reintroduce ourselves a little bit and, um, you know, start over. So we lost a lot, um, but that doesn't mean that we have to take a step back. And I got to get our guys to understand that. And uh, just excited about this group. They're good guys. They work hard. They represent themselves the right way. Thank you, Coach. We'll open the floor for questions. This is Marcus Fuller, Star Tribune. Coach, talk about the impact of your transfers on the team. I know, obviously, um, two sat out last year, and you brought one in um, uh, new as a grad transfer. But what impact are they having on your leadership? Yeah, Marcus is a natural leader, um, just confident on and off the court. Tough, uh, competes, uh, you know, versatile, can play a multitude of positions, uh, fearless, you know, so he's only a sophomore, but he doesn't act like it. So he's got natural leadership abilities. Um, Peyton Willis may not be as loud as him at times, but his work ethic does the talking. You know, I think the young guys see how hard he works every single day. And, you know, that's the biggest thing that you can get, you know, because everybody thinks good leader is what they say, but a lot of it is what you do. And with those transfers, Ali Han and Peyton and Marcus, um, they're really, really good at doing the right things to show those other guys that's how you need to act at this level. Coach D1, CoachCorner.com, Jack Williams. Uh, how healthy uh, do you believe uh, Eric, Eric Curry is going to be this season, and uh, what do you expect from him this season? You know, obviously he's dealt with a lot of injuries. He's been really, really important to our team. Um, you know, from a depth standpoint, he could play the four, he could play the five. He knows how to play. Um, you know, he's a very, very good defender. He's a very good passer. You know, and for a guy at 6'9", to do that, that's very valuable. So the biggest thing for Eric is staying healthy, physically, mentally, just making sure that he gets his confidence back. Uh, and I'm rooting for him. I mean, what he's dealt with the last couple of years has been really, really hard. So he's been doing a little bit in practice, uh, not 100% yet, but he's getting close. And every time he's on the court, we seem to be a better basketball team. On your right, Coach. Richard, every coach is going to get the same question here, but the California bill uh, uh, for players capitalizing on their images and likenesses, where do you stand on that? Yeah, I think it's progress. You know, I think over the last couple of years, um, we're heading in the right direction with, with, you know, taking care of our student athletes. And, you know, I don't know – exactly what it's going to be but i think it's a good idea and you know i know a lot of people have been pushing for it uh, i think the biggest thing now is just getting everybody on the same page you know getting all the states getting the ncaa getting everybody uh working together is the most important thing but you know the more that we can get these guys these student athletes uh, i'm all for it Jardy, the Columbus Dispatch. I just wonder, as uh, you've gone through your coaching career, the, the challenges of just building a roster and keeping roster continuity, how has that changed since you've been a coach? And what are, what are some of those challenges of just trying to have consistency from year to year? It's challenging. That's, that's why, you know, you have so much respect for, you know, Coach Izzo and what he's done, you know, to be able to do it every single year because, you know, I think that with Amir Coffey, um, you know, we recruited a really good player. When he was healthy, he was a really good player. And, you know, he goes, makes a decision to go early to the NBA, uh, which we supported. You know, but if he's back, we're probably a different team. He's a really talented player. Um, but, you know, you can't hold these guys back from doing what, what's great for them and what they've dreamed of their whole lives. So if you are able to recruit certain guys uh, that can go early, you've got to support them. Um, you know, and then obviously the transfer situation. I've got seven new players, and um, you always want to save one or two for those guys that may want to come sit out. Uh, and grow so it's fun I mean I saw something the other day about I think Nick Saban said he goes into every year as if it's year one I feel like that a little bit um, but but it does make it enjoyable so you got to embrace it it is what it is I mean it's not the kids aren't wrong if they transfer if they go early to the NBA or overseas or whatever um, they're taking advantage of opportunities I think a lot of us coaches would do the same 